Hello and welcome to Green Bull Research. Today we have another exposed investment teaser for you. This one regarding what former hedge fund manager and Wall Street legend Whitney Tilson refers to as America's next big monopoly and the little known company behind a breakthrough as big as the internet that could return long term gains of well over a thousand percent in the years to come. In this video, we'll review Tilson's hour-long teaser video to determine just what the heck is this mysterious new monopoly and expose the stock he's referring to. That's right, a quick summary of his full-length video sales pitch and a free reveal of the stock pick and ticker symbol he's teasing you with. Let's get to it. The video itself is about an hour long, but as soon as we try to navigate away, we're presented with the option to read the transcript, so I'll take it. And basically, the thrust of this teaser is the secret to financial success is getting in early on future monopolies and compounding the gains. And Tilson compares this to getting into Facebook or Google when they were early, which saw gains over 3 million percent. And he gets to the point where he talks about a company bigger than Google, Amazon, Facebook, or Microsoft. And he offers this image and asks, what is the most powerful piece of technology? And he lets us know that it's the plant in the top right corner. And the reason why is that all the technology items all run on binary code. But the plant is organic and runs on quaternary code, which instead of only having two symbols, zeros and ones, quaternary code uses four symbols, A, T, C, G, and what he's talking about here is DNA. And these DNA codes using these four symbols can be used to build proteins, cells, tissues, plants and animals, and now various products. So now that scientists have figured out how to program the quaternary code, there's a whole new industry that's available to open up. And we'll find out eventually that this all ends up with a sales pitch. In order to find out who this company is, we'll have to subscribe to his research advisory called Empire Stock Investor to receive his free reports. Here he'll give us America's next big monopoly, talking about this little known DNA company, and another bonus regarding California's longest running monopoly, how to five times your money. But here at Green Bull Research, we figured you'd rather keep your money. So we're going to go ahead and expose this teaser for you for free. So Whitney Tilson says he's found America's next big monopoly, but that getting in early on this monopoly is key to compounding the gains. And Tilson believes he's found the next big thing, and he's willing to bet that we've never heard of it, but that those who get in early could be setting themselves up for long-term gains well over a thousand percent in the years to come. Whitney Tilson is an American investor, former hedge fund manager, publisher, and author. Greenbull has published reviews of similar opportunities, including Jeff Siegel's Helix Scaling Stock and Adam O'Dell's number one DNA stock. And Tilson acknowledges there's no guarantees in the investment world, but he does know from first-hand experience that it is possible to find companies that dominate their industries long before the mainstream catches on. So he's not talking about 5G robotics, artificial intelligence, or blockchain. This is much bigger, totally different, and more important. And it runs on this advanced code that Whitney Tilson calls quaternary code. And the pitch is all about his new report from the Empire Stock Investor called America's Next Big Monopoly. And this will reveal the company behind the breakthrough. He's offering a no-risk trial for $49, which includes two free reports, the second being California's longest-running monopoly, how to potentially five times your money. But what in the world is quaternary code? Well, we saw from the picture that he's talking about this plant being the most advanced technology in this photo, which in a nutshell is DNA code. And he lets us know that scientists have finally figured out how to program DNA code. And this is giving rise to an industry called synthetic biology. And Tilson has discovered a company whose business model is to synthesize the code of raw materials that goes into various products and then license it to other companies. So after going through the teaser, we found a few clues. Instead of supplying custom software solutions like Amazon or applications like Apple, they supply custom genomes in the form of code. The company has already lined up partnerships with companies such as Roche, Cargill, and others. It produces its unique genomes inside a massive 219,000 square foot laboratory in a regular looking office building in Boston. And they have the largest library of DNA codes in the world, which they call a code base with over 3.4 billion codes and it's growing every day. So without further ado, here at Green Bull Research, we think this sounds like Ginkgo Bioworks Holdings, ticker symbol DNA. Currently trading at just over $3 a share, this company has a market cap of over $4.5 billion despite a negative EPS. And here's how the clues line up. Ginkgo's synthetic biology reconfigures the genome of organisms to make products such as perfume, drink sweeteners, fertilizer replacements, and more. They have long-standing agreements in place with Roche, Cargill, and others, and is the largest designer of printed DNA in the world. They operate out of a 219,000 square foot lab in Boston. But does Ginkgo have what it takes to be America's next big monopoly? 
Well, synthetic biology, or the design and construction of new biological entities, such as enzymes, genetic circuits, and cells, or the redesign of existing biological systems, hold out the promise of re-imaging possibilities of living things, from bacteria that can fight cancer to restoring entire ecosystems. However, there is also a dark side. This emerging tool can also create pathogenic bioweapons and contaminate native gene pools, among other things. Another company that Tilson offers as a free tip throughout the presentation is CRISPR, NASDAQ symbol CRSP, currently trading at just over $60 with a similar market cap of $4.5 billion, but at least with a positive EPS. When considering companies like this from an investment perspective, then either company would fit the bill of a classic growth stock and could be purchased as part of a broader portfolio for that purpose. As far as getting in on the ground floor of a monopoly, that may be a slightly exaggerated claim. So to recap, Whitney Tilson says he's found America's next big monopoly, and he's not talking about 5G, robotics, AI, VR, or blockchain, but something much bigger and totally different. He dubs this new tech Quaternary Code, which is really just a made-up name for DNA, and he picks one company that's going to emerge from the synthetic biology sector that's going to be America's next big monopoly. To find out the name, we'll need to purchase a subscription to his newsletter for $49 for the first year, where he'll include a special report on America's next big monopoly, and a second report on California's biggest monopoly. But to save you time and some money, Greenbrill Research has revealed the company here as Ginkgo Bioworks Holdings, New York Stock Exchange DNA. And despite its healthy market cap, Ginkgo is still in the early stages of its growth, and the stock could fit into any portfolio that's lacking a growth stock. But wait a second, what was that thing in the pitch? That thing about California's longest running monopoly? Well, in the teaser presentation, he teases this other report, and he gives us this really big clue here. The company has a monopoly over the area and there's nothing much Californians can do. A really quick Google search of that exact phrase, attached to TheEconomist.com, shows us that what he's talking about is PG&E. And this is Pacific Gas and Electric, California's power utility. And they're on the New York Stock Exchange, under sticker symbol PCG, currently trading for around $10. So there you go, we'll even hook you up with that bit of information. So, Whitney Tilson is teasing the opportunity to invest in a little-known company that seems to be holding all the cards in biotech's fledgling synthetic biology industry. Do you think Ginkgo Bioworks stock has the potential to make monopoly money like Amazon or Facebook? Does Ginkgo Bioworks' negative earnings per share affect your confidence in the stock? Will you be rushing to join Tilson's newsletter service? Please let us know what you think in the comments below. We hope this exposed teaser provides some value to you and helps you out. Here at Green Bull Research, we expose investment teasers like this on a regular basis. And unlike most of these overhyped teasers, at Green Bull Research, the information really is free. So if you'd like to stay informed on these hot tips, just go to greenbullresearch.com slash join where you can enter your email to receive our newsletter every time we expose another investment teaser. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and give it a like. Thank you very much for watching.